So uh, this Gen Zace 2200 milliamp hour 11.1 .1 volt 25C battery pack is a, a great battery pack for its value. It costs seventeen dollars at Nitro Plans, and it has a aluminum plate to protect the battery from punctures, so it will not blow up. It I haven't had any problems with it so far, and it is a great battery. The only uh, con is that it comes on a with a banana connector, which only Nitro Plans uses, and I use EC3 for my park zone. And it has a uh, silicone tubing around its balance lead, which can easily pull out of the battery. All right, so this Gen's Ace uh, 1000 milliamp hour 7.4 volt 25C high discharge lipo battery pack is a two cell, and like the unlike the other Gen Ace battery, this one the balance lead pulled out of the battery because it was silicone. Now, I had to replace it, and after replacing it, it works great, except one of the cells will only charge 95%. So this is a uh, reason for the con of the Gen Ace battery. Alright, so this Park Zone 11.1 volt, 2200 milliamp hour, 25C discharge battery is a great quality battery. It just is really expensive. So if, like, Gen Ace battery will last just as long as a Park Zone battery, but a Gen Ace battery is, like, uh... 50 times less expensive. So this battery is a great battery. It's just really expensive, so I would not recommend going out buying this again. All right, so this Tenergy 11.1 volt, 1350 milliamp hour battery is not the best battery. Now, if you accidentally left this on the charger, it would not work again. It got really puffy, and it was only left on the charger for an extra five minutes. So I would not go out and buy this battery. It is not the best quality battery. So uh, here is a side view of the Tenergy battery, and you can really see how puffy it is. Now it's hard to sort of see it because the uh, casing around the battery uh, resists puffing, so it kind of holds it in there. But you can kind of see how it kind of is not a straight line across the battery. So this is a puffy battery that you do not want to use again. Alright, so this uh, Zippy battery is made by Ternergy. You can buy these at Hobby King. I highly recommend it for gliders because you can just plug it into your receiver and it is a small, lightweight battery. Now this has no cons. It is a 350 milliamp hour 20C discharge um, battery pack. It is a 7.4 volt, so it is a 2 cell. It has, the connectors are great. They haven't pulled out for me and it is a low cost battery. Um, the downside is some Ternergy batteries will say like a 50 through 90 C discharge rating and if you're flying you never know how many discharge is going into your motor or your electronics because it could be anywhere from 50 to 90 C. So it's kind of woohoo you don't know where it is. So this battery, the Zippy battery, I highly highly recommend for you guys with glass. Alright, so last but not least we have the Exceed RC uh, 7.4 volt 800 milliamp hour uh, battery pack. Now, the reason I do not like these battery packs, they're great quality and great price, but the uh, con of this is that it does not clearly state on the label uh, the C rating. Um, now, therefore, you, you can't quite tell, so if you just picked up the battery at your hobby store, you couldn't see where the C rating is. It's hard to find, so that way you can't know, not many people buy it because they don't know the C rating. But otherwise, it is a great battery pack. I highly recommend it for helicopter users. Um, that's all. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, more tips and tricks coming soon.